So you guys know that I take mental health stuff seriously. Um, that's one of the crux of my channel. Um, I myself am a suicide survivor. I've been in and out of the hospital in the middle wing about three or four times. Uh, I take medicine daily to try to keep me sane. Uh, and when I'm very open with my mental health stuff. And I take it really seriously, right? I have a best friend who killed himself about five years ago due to depression. And, you know, I know a lot of people that suffer with mental health issues. And lately, I've been noticing a trend where people just like kind of tearing people down with mental health issues. But I didn't expect it to come from a source of entertainment that um, I actually watched for many years, especially for one specific content creator. And that's Review Tech USA. His name's Rich. Now, Rich has been, you know, I've been watching him for, I don't know, maybe six or seven years, give or take. Uh, he's up there for me, like with Boogie. I, I was watching him. Uh, but you, like I said, you're, you're watching some of the bigger YouTubers that used to be pretty big and have a name for themselves. Uh, basically, their whole channels are tanking because they've turned into a shell of what they used to be, especially Boogie with his documentary just kind of showing how shitty of a person he was. And now he's on a locale podcast and trying to basically live that life, which, you know, it kind of sucks. It sucks seeing people that you like, you seem successful, was funny, and you kind of looked after, uh, looked, uh, looked at like... Um, took inspiration from just going down the hill that's why i really don't cover or talk to boogie that much uh but seeing review tech usa do this uh, was really surprising now he used to make a lot of content a bunch of different things like drama tech reviews game reviews gameplay and just uh, shit talking and slowly there's been a decline in his popularity his channel is not really seeing a whole lot he moved to a live stream format where he basically which is I mean, you do you. I, I, I think it's kind of bad, but um, basically it's just him going on and just making a fool of himself, taking his shirt off, smokes his pot, which again, there's nothing wrong with smoking pot. And Rich, you know, if you want to take your shirt off, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I see a lot of YouTubers do that, especially on Twitch. Um, but basically, Rich is embracing the fact that his channel's dying, and he wants to take down a lot of people with him in a blaze of glory, and I really hate that for Rich because it sucks. Now, there's been some beef currently and, and in the past with Smash JT, The Quartering, JKB, A Big Eric, uh, even Boogie, Keemstar, you name it. Rich has kind of been after them. And following him on X for a while since I've been back, I've been watching him basically go after everyone. Uh, this guy's like completely, I don't want to say unhinged, and he goes after everyone. And some of it's quite hypocritical, of some of the things he says, and just going on a defense when you know somebody makes an opinion that he doesn't like, he automatically goes into attack mode. And that's really normal for uh, X behavior because I see that a lot with a lot of people. And our next video, we'll talk about one in specific. But anyways, Rich is having some beef with another, uh, well, a few other content creators. And I'm not going to go completely into it because you guys can just find that yourself. Uh, I just kind of gave you the crux of what it was. Rich is having beef with other content creators. But one of the things that happened was Rich actually did something really stupid. Now, one of the people that he is beefing with supposedly has mental health issues. And I guess it's this guy, JKB, and he's talking about the suicide hotline. And Rich, Rich, and this is very classy, make sure you call this number in case you need a J. You admitted being suicidal before. Say safe, man. Now, you take a look at it in the context, you're like, okay, maybe Rich is being nice about it. But when you look further into it, it's actually being used as an insult, which, again, that is basically making fun of or picking on people that are suicidal and that's a very disgusting thing and it got to the point where a lot of people is sitting here it's like why would rich say something like this um you know it's pretty disgusting it's pretty damning like your audience is like wait this is way too far dude this is way too far and a lot of people's covered it and rich basically kind of doubles down a little bit and kind of turns himself into a victim um and he's still going after the other people rich rich is basically what it comes down to is uh, a real garbage piece of shit 
And I hate to say that because I really like the guy. And I've even said that a few times. And watching him say something like that, basically bullying or making fun of or making light of suicide victims or survivors or people who has mental health issues, is pretty fucking disgusting on any level of entertainment. Um, which, again, that's pretty disgusting. But he did have a... A video that he released after a lot of people got after him and questioned his mental health. This is what he came back with. Hi, everybody. Richard Review Tech USA here. And I see many people are concerned about my mental health, my well being, and want to see if I'm okay. I am okay. I just had a lot to say today that I've held back for about two months. I also see people saying they're concerned and that I'm a drug addict. I think the concern is feigned, so this is for them. Suck my fucking dick. So, you, you know, as somebody that got basically uh, shattered and beat down by his audience for talking badly about mental health victims. He comes back and still tries to paint himself as the victim. And whenever you say, hey, I'm not a drug addict, and immediately start smoking pot and say, suck my dick, that kind of does paint a little bit of picture. Now, I say, I'm not going to say pot uh, is going to turn you into a drug addict because I used to smoke pot a lot back in the day. And, you know, right now it's not really legal. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, you're not really helping your case when doing that. You're actually making yourself look like a complete asshole. Um, and here's the thing, Rich, if you are having mental health issues, and I'm assuming you are because, like I said, I've been catching up on some of your streams, and uh, you went from a pretty good entertainer into somebody that's just, I don't know, just a trash person. Like, um, you seem like you don't care what happens to you when you could easily turn it around. Um, like I said, you could be, come back and be successful and turn your stream and stuff. I say that about Boogie. If Boogie really wanted to, or I don't know, Wings of Redemption wanted to, if they wanted to bust out of the Locale podcast and actually try getting an audience back with the user base that they had, uh, then, you know, things would get good. And I don't want to see Rich's channel completely tank because, like I said, I think he's a, he could be a good person. He used to be me. But seeing shit like that, um, being brought up just because you have internet beef and the way you attack somebody is through their mental health. That's fucking stupid. That's really fucking stupid. And I really, um, I really think you should sit back, take a break through the internet, and just fuck off for a little bit. Or suck my fucking dick. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty bad, Rich. It's a bad look, dude. Um, you really need to fix yourself. This is me being concerned for you. Um, I'm not trying to attack you, but... You're attacking something that I'm very passionate about, and I've lost people too. And there's many people that's going through the same problem. There's many suicidal victims uh, or people committed suicide. There's people with severe depression that's on this app, and you're just making light of it. Especially some people that may be in your audience that follows you for many years. You're probably going to lose subscribers for that. And it's not going to look any much better. So if you're trying to repair your channel... You would probably think you shouldn't do shit like that because, like I said, again, that's pretty fucking, pretty fucking lame, dude. And um, I hope, I hope you turn things around. Get back on your fucking high horse and do what you are was good at. Don't, don't just follow the fucking downhill spiral of life and be like, ah, I'm going down in a blaze of glory. Uh, you can turn that ship around. You can do that. I've done it. I'm not very successful, but I went from having nothing, losing everything, to back where I am now. Uh, married, have a home, have a car, have a nice job, have nice stuff. Um, you could do the same thing. You could do the same. You don't have to accept that your channel is dying. You don't have to uh, continuously look for internet beef when, you know, there shouldn't be. I understand drama sells, and you're probably thinking that's hyper hypocritical of me talking about drama stuff when my channel talks about drama stuff, but but you used to not really be that way. Like, you used to be pretty pretty awesome. And you did call out people that deserved it, especially Quantum TV. Um, but it kind of feels like you are going down the same path as Quantum TV, um, just being an obnoxious piece of shit. 
fucking fix yourself, dude. Please, please, God, just fix yourself. Um, go get help. Go, go to a doctor. Don't be ashamed of it. Uh, if you got insurance, do it. I'm sure there's other things. Don't go to better help. Uh, that's a waste of time. Um, best thing to do is probably talk to somebody in person. From what I can tell, maybe find a good counselor or, uh, or something in your area. Uh, but don't make these kind of mistakes because it's just going to hurt you worse and it's going to damage what reputation that you did have. And again, hope the best, Rich. Thank you.